Okay guys, uh, welcome back to part two of my Spartan scratch build. Um been busy. There's a few things I want to show you just before um, I put the whole boat together. Um, one of them, this, these trim tabs, they're interesting. I haven't seen uh, another Spartan with this type of tab on uh, before. I could be wrong, it might be a bad idea, so that may be why. <coughs> I want to show you the the old ones. Right, this is the, the, the standard one, or the standard mode from RC Boat Bits. This is the one that most people are using. Um, and this is the one I've decided to fit. Um, there's a few differences. Each one's narrower than the, the main one, but of course it's a split trim tab. So I want to try this, see what's going to go. I'm only going to run it something like that, in that position. One up, one down. And uh, there's something to play around with, I'll have a go at it. I'm hoping it'll give me a bit of performance and a bit more control. The curious thing about this, and this is, I, I'm really quite amazed at this, is those plastic, the plastic inserts. When I want to drill this, obviously that's your normal. Yeah? So there's two holes for your normal fit. And then nothing. Right? But the curious thing is there is an actual, actual plastic insert. So you can see that. There's an extra set of inserts in there that's an exact fit for these trim tops, which I was absolutely amazed to find. I was not expecting that, so it must have been in Spartan's history at some point to have that type of trim, tab, trim tabs on. I'm quite amazed. Okay, the tree, internal tree. I want to show you that this is the old tree. If you look at the old tree, that's the front of the motor mill. That's, that's this bit part here. Yeah. And this is a bracket for the Traxxas telemetry stuff. If anybody uses it, I certainly never have and never will. Thank you very much. So to me, that's useless. And it was really getting in my way when I'm trying to tighten up my uh, a shaft drive. So I'm trying to tighten up there, and that bracket there just gets in the way. So I've cut that off. So I, unless you're going to use the elementary stuff, I highly recommend get that thing out of the, out of the way because it's just a nuisance and a pest right on the most important part of the whole boat, basically. So that's chopped off. Moving on. Operated shaft and stuffing tube both together. Because I'll show you why. This, uh, let me get this in. Okay. This, this is the new stuffing tube. And this, if you look, is the the old tube. That's a difference in diameter and a significant difference in length as well. Okay, this is a slightly bigger diameter and longer. I'll show you the two shafts together. That's a, that's the standard shaft. We get these pictures. That's the standard shaft and the upgraded shaft. Quite a difference. Okay guys, three stingers. This, as you might recognize, is the standard original Spartan stinger. This one from his RC boat bits again. This is an upgraded stinger, but fits on the standard, the standard shaft, standard fitting, so there's not a huge difference. 
This is the upgraded stinger. I think they really look the same. They're not actually the same. If you notice, oh God. hang on. If you notice, there's about there's about a ten millimeter. There's about a ten millimeter difference in length between this stinger and the upgrade stinger. So that's again the difference there. So this is the one we're going to be using. Can you see the shaft now? Standard shaft, standard spartan shaft stops right at right at the transom. It's just chopped off at the transom it stops there. This thing slides over the end of the stepping tube like that, like that, and that's how that goes on. Right over the top of the stuff tube. So it's a whole different setup. Um, so take heed of that one if you're buying upgrades for the boat they're not all the same even RC boat bits they've all got different sizes and types so be careful what you're doing, what you're doing there I'm going to do a, a double intake double intake rudder got some nice colour coded tubes there that's going to look pretty Get that on there. Yeah, that'll be the business. That'll look cool. Uh, fitted the uh, double double outlet around here. Again, got a colour coded tube in onto there. And she's coming along, that's it. Starting to get built. Now, I wanted to do some, because it's just a bare white bolt. I wanted to do some decals guys, so I'll be working on some decals. I got Super Spartan by Crashing Chris and got uh, apparently a Crashing Chris at YouTube. Super Spartan by Crashing Chris, Crashing Chris at YouTube and a lot of other stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to put on yet. I've got On Your Mars Go R and Bang this type of thing. I don't know what I'm going to do yet see what I'll do. Amazing what you can do on a laptop. It's Cash and Chris, Skull and Crossbones. Super smart. So, point is this guys, this is just a uh, decal paper. It's just decal paper. <coughs> just get it online. And the only thing I will say that, and then whatever you can turn out with your laptop in print. You just print it as normal, except it's going on to the decal paper. This is water slide, water slide decal paper, that's what I recommend. The one thing you have to remember when you're using this stuff is you have to spray it, okay? So, yacht varnish, waterproof, clear, yacht varnish. And you have to spray the transfers, okay? That's the point. Um, <coughs> It's the, the minute these come out of the printer, you have to at least at least an hour, a couple of hours to let, let, the, wing, let the, the ink dry on the paper. That's the first thing. To do. But then immediately, that's dry. Three coats of this stuff over the top of the, the ink. Because it's a water slide, you've got to dip them into warm water, apply them off, stick them in. So, if you don't spray these first with the uh, varnish and get out and seal them, believe you me, the ink will just come straight off. Okay, so that's the tip. Three coats of this stuff on your decal paper, then apply it, and then re varnish again over the top. So you'll be getting to see, uh, hopefully, some applied decals in uh, part three. Meantime, thanks very much. See you later.